Dark falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm too scared. Waiting is too long. Just in my heart, I miss you. Now I'm waiting for 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 you. Now I'm
Hello and welcome back to the first vlog of the year. I hope you had a great start into the new year. We are currently in Salzburg and I thought I'm gonna film it for you because I've never shared a Salzburg vlog before. It's a sunny beautiful day today. A little bit cold but not too cold. And yeah. We got some Mozart Kugel from Fürst these are my favorites so if you want to try really good mozart kugel go for these if you like dark chocolate Get your birthday present. No, no. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Daddy <laughs> And I know, and I know, and I know what it takes. Give me all of this love, I won't let it go to waste. Oh. Even in the darkest nights, you are my guiding light. Bright in darker days, you're all I crave. You're the one. You're the one. Baby, I promise that energy cause you're good. Yeah, I know you'll do the same thing. Dark night, dark nights are low, but it just seems you're here. But it just seems you're there. from the last clips I got my birthday present when we were in Salzburg with my family and here it is I thought I'm gonna unbox it with you so I can talk a little bit about it and show you what I got because I haven't showed you exactly what I've got so we will do an unboxing but before we start with the unboxing I thought I'm gonna quickly talk a little bit about Salzburg. Salzburg is one of the most famous and popular cities in Austria I would say. It's a small city and I really like it to be honest. Especially the old town is my favorite part of the city. It's very cute, very charming in my opinion. You don't have a lot of options to do when you're in Salzburg but there are quite a few things you should do when you're visiting the city. I would suggest you to go up to the fortress Hohen Salzburg I think it's called because it's very beautiful, the view from there is very beautiful so definitely suggest that. Just stroll around the old town 
have a nice cup of coffee and some cakes at Tomaselli. Cafe Tomaselli is one of the most traditional ones in Salzburg and the most famous ones. But there is also Cafe Für, where I got the Mozart Kugel, the Mozart chocolate. And there are a few different types in Austria. My personal favorites are the ones from Cafe Fürst, so it's so delicious. You have to try it, especially if you like dark chocolate. I'm sure you will love it. It's my favorite. You should definitely have traditional Austrian dinner when you're in Salzburg. There are a lot of different restaurants. One of my favorites is Meisel and Schaden. Meisel and Schaden also has a restaurant in Vienna and I really like it. So this time we went in Salzburg and my parents never went there before. So it was their first time and they also really love the schnitzel. So I think I can recommend it to you as well because we all loved it. It was really nice atmosphere the stuff is very friendly the food was delicious it was really really good and also Sternbräu is quite a popular place among tourists especially it's quite a touristy place but the food is also really good i especially love their goulash and salzburger nockerl if you're in salzburg you should try that as well it's a uh, famous Austrian dessert which is made of egg whites. I think it's only egg whites. I personally don't love it too much because it is a little bit too eggy for my taste but if you're here you should definitely give it a try and see if you like it or not. If you're here during the famous Salzburg festival which is about music and film then you should definitely try to get tickets for that as well because it's something you shouldn't miss if you're here during that time. Yeah, that's all I want to tell you about Salzburg. It's one of my favorites. I think it's a cute city. If you're in that region, you can definitely give it a go. And one day is totally enough for Salzburg, I would say, because as I said, there is not a lot you can do and it's also not a big city, so you don't need a lot of time to explore it and one day will definitely be enough if you only want to visit the city and not the surrounding areas of Salzburg. I would say let's start with the unboxing. Before that a little story time about how I even got that because I was not expecting it at all. We just went to Salzburg with my family to have some change of scenarios a little bit because we spent the holidays at home and I wanted to film a vlog in Salzburg so that was the reason why we went there then after spending the time in Salzburg after our cake and coffee break my sister started filming me and she told me that I'm receiving my birthday gift and I was a little bit shocked I was not expecting that at all to receive my birthday gift in Salzburg on that day because when I filmed this vlog, like when I'm filming it right now, it's still December. My birthday is on 13th of January. So when you're watching this, I already had my birthday. It was yesterday, I think. So I was not expecting to receive my birthday present because it was still December. And I don't know, I didn't think they would get me something when I'm with them in Salzburg, you know. I always feel kind of awkward and bad when I receive bigger presents from my family so I was a little shocked and didn't really want that in that moment because I felt awkward but you know they already made up their minds. A remover luggage was on my wish list for a very long time and they did want to surprise me but they weren't sure which one I would like. They wanted me to choose the luggage I really want. I never went to remove and looked at the luggages in real life so I tried some of them on I mean can you say you tried them on I just tried how they feel I looked at different colors and different materials because they have quite a few options I went with the one which was the first one on my wish list I changed up my mind a few times during the time but this was the one I actually and originally wanted. Let's unpack it. I mean, this 
is quite a huge bag but there is a luggage in it and it was quite comfortable to walk with it i have to say so the luggage comes in this dust bag very fancy can you guess which one i got like i i think you can guess which style i got but can you guess which color i got because i've shown two to you so if you want to guess please write it down in the comments below right now so i can check if your guess was the right one Ta -da -da -da. here she is she's so pretty look at her i got the original cabin in the color silver this is also available in black first when i put this item on my wish list i really wanted the silver one after time passed by i really started to like the black one because i really like black in general so i thought when i walked in the store i thought i would get the black one that was the one i intended to get because i really like the black one when i saw it in real life the black one i mean this is aluminium like this gets scratches and on the black one you could really see the scratches a lot the one in the store was quite scratched and the color came off and it just didn't look good sometimes things look really good when you wear it over time and when they get scratched and when you can tell it is worn but on the luggage i didn't really love it to be honest and this is quite an expensive luggage so i don't want it to get ruined so fast you know what i mean and it will get ruined i mean it's a hand luggage i will always have it by me but still it will get scratches you can't avoid that and the sales associate also told me that like before i even realized the scratches on the other luggage she told me that on the black one you can really see the scratches and that i should consider that if i want the black one and that was really cute of her like I think that's very professional if the essays tell you pros and cons about a product that just shows that it's not all about selling a product but they really want you to get the best one for you which is so important. After seeing the scratches like it was over for me I knew that I didn't want the black one and I didn't really like the look of the black one you know what I mean like didn't feel right on me i don't know why i really like this one more and i think maybe because it's the classic the original one you can really tell that this is the original remover in my opinion and so i went for the silver one this comes in a smaller size but i don't know how small that is i haven't seen it also in a bigger size which is also a cabin size but that one is only allowed in business and first class so if you are getting that consider that info as well this is like the classic size which is let me quickly check 55 40 23 they also have a cabin luggage which is called the essential cabin which is made of plastic not aluminium and if you want a lightweight carry-on then you should consider getting the essential one because this one is quite heavy and you know you are only allowed 8 to 10 kilos for your cabin luggage and this one already has 4.5 kilos without anything in it 4.3 kilos sorry so this carry-on empty without anything in it has already 4.3 kilograms that's a lot and it is also a little bit heavy obviously i knew that this carry-on is more heavy than the other one but this was the one i wanted and you know if i get it i want the one i really like and this is the one i wanted because i personally like the look of this one a lot more than the essential the essential is also very beautiful but I just really like these details on the original one and the aluminium look. I'm okay with putting less in it because it's just prettier. And when you're buying a luggage, you also get this tag which they personalize for you. It's made of this black leather and I got my initials on it in this 
silver, dark silver color. I think that's so cute. Really love that. Let me open it. So this is how it looks like in the inside. These are the, how do you call these? The dividers. It also has this pocket on the divider. It comes with a zipper and you can put things in it. And the essay was so sweet. She gave us quite a few of these liquid pouches which you can put in the carry-on luggage and where you can put your liquids in. Look at that. She put quite a few in it so we can share with my sister. She was the sweetest by the way. If you're in Salzburg and want to shop at Remova, they are really kind and friendly. It has all the paper stuff, the warranty and it also comes with this sticker which is quite cute and I love the removers with the stickers on it but I don't think I'm gonna put any stickers on this carry-on. I think I would do that if I get the bigger size one day because I think the stickers look much better on bigger suitcases I think I don't want to put anything on this one. I like it as it is, but you never know, we will see. Also another fact which was very fascinating for me and which I didn't know was that you have lifelong warranty on all the removal luggages, which is great. So if anything happens to your luggage, you don't even have to bother around with the airlines. You just need to write directly to Remova and they will do the rest, which is amazing. That's it. I'm really happy about it and I can't wait to travel to many different locations with her. Should we give her a name? I think I will give my suitcase a name. That would be cute. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. <laughs> I think that would be really cute to give her a name. The camera just flipped and the angle is a little bit different right now, but I just wanted to end this video. And I just want to mention that I don't take these kind of gifts as granted. I feel very grateful that I received it and I feel very grateful and thankful to my family for gifting me this item. and. Yeah, just wanted to share it with you. I hope you like my little unboxing. It was a different one, but yeah, I hope you like the Salzburg vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching and we will see us again with new videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.